Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I've kind of messed up here, as you can see, because I'm doing the intro after the Stoke City game. I thought I had done an intro for this episode, so I had overwritten the save for the beginning of this episode with my Bordeaux career, if that makes absolutely any sense. But today's episode, we have Stoke and Southampton in the Premier League. Not been a great time for us in the league over the past month, but let's see if we can finally pick up three points in the Premier League. Bernardo Silva with loads of space on the right hand side charging towards the Stoke defence. I'm going to turn it onto his left foot and whipping across to the back post. Lee Rossani is waiting. Lee Rossani for the first shot of the game. But in the end, a simple save for Jack Butland. Bernardo Silva on the right hand side short into Fabinho. Look at the space here for Goretzka. Do you know what? I'm going to smash it a goal with Goretzka. Good save from Butland. And it's going to be a corner. 10 minutes gone and it's been such a... A dominating start from us. Poor start from Stoke as well, but a very good start from us. Here we go. Corner kick incoming to that near post. Up in the air. And who's throwing? Is it going to be? Of course. <laughs> of course it's going to be Stokes. I think we definitely need to get the first goal in this game. That will give me even more confidence of picking up the three points. Chilwell on the ball on the left-hand side. Up against two players. And he's done very, very well. To get it out to Niang on the left-hand side. Hector, is he going to play it back out to Niang? Yes, he is. But Fabinho doing his defensive duties very, very well. Here we go. Lee Rossani into Sergio Aguero. Running through the middle is Sterling. Just can't get the pass out to him. I was going to pull it over the top, but it didn't quite work out. Sergio Aguero, left-hand side is Lee Rossani. Opening it up onto his left foot. Across the keeper. Good save. And it's going to go out, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Let's go let it go out. 18 minutes gone. Butland so far keeping Stoke in this game. Corner kick incoming from Fabinho. What's he doing? Taking it up in the air. And they get the danger away. Only as far as John Stones back out to the corner kick taker. Fabinho a little dink into the box. Sergio Aguero is there. But once again it gets headed away. Only as far as Fabinho. Stones back into Fabinho. But Batshuayi has done very well to intercept. Batshuayi to his left hand side is Chilwell down line to Niang. But as you can see no support. But it is arriving at the back post. But Jimenez... Has done very, very well. And Niang is obviously going to win that against Bernardo Silva. Afalo on the edge of the box into Hector. A strike towards goal. And John Stones with a brilliant block. Stoke still on the move forward. A cross into the back post. Jimenez gets it away. Only as far as Afalo. How has that gone in? Wow. How has that gone in? 25 minutes gone. Totally against the run of play. This was their first real attack of the game. And they score a goal. Edison, what are you doing? That should have been a save. Free kick for Stoke. They knock it long to the left-hand side in chopper moting. And he's done very, very well. Now Hector forward here to Batshuayi. Back out to the left-hand side in chopper moting. Can we make a tackle here with John Stones? No, somehow he's got past me. And he's got loads of space to work with. A cross goes in. And Edison should be catching it. And he does. Right. Let's try and throw this out early here. Goretzka. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is turning out to be such a frustrating game. Marlos Moreno nicks it away from the Stoke man. Isco forward to Aguero. Worked out nicely. My voice keeps cracking up. I don't know why. Lee Rossani twisting and turning. And the defender has done very well. But Fabinho should be intercepting that. And he does. Here we go. Lee Rossani. No, it's Isco. Now Lee Rossani onto his left foot. It's beautifully done. One on one with the goalkeeper. Lee Rossani into the bottom corner. And rightly so. We have equalised the game. 66 minutes played. Player of the season so far. Has made it 1-1. One, one. Oh man, relief. That is just pure relief. Dummy shot onto his left foot. No one charges me down apart from Jack Butland, who should have done a better job to be honest. But it's a brilliant finish into the bottom corner. 1-1. One, one, game on. Philippe Anderson on the right hand side. Plays a brilliant ball through here to Batshuayi. Cross goes in low and hard and John Stones gets the ball away. And here we go. Lee Rossani does very well to get it forward to Aguero. Now Lee Rossani once again. Going to hold it up and wait for a run from the left-hand side in Marlis Moreno. And I go on a darting run here with Marlis Moreno. Pass one, pass two. Short into Aguero. To his right-hand side is Isco. Opening up onto his right foot. Isco with the long-range effort into the top corner. Minutes after equalising the game, we've taken the lead with a brilliant strike from the Spaniard. 20 minutes left to play and surely this is us moving forward 
to finally pick up three points in the league after a month. Look at that, opens it up onto his right foot and bang. No goalkeeper in the world would have saved that right into the top corner. 20 minutes left to play and Isco with his third, only his third Premier League goal of the season. Fabinho forward to Lee Rossani, now Sergio Aguero, they are throwing everything forward for these last few moments. So it's a brilliant opportunity to grab that third goal and really secure the three points. Aguero on the left hand side, across goes in, Lee Rossani is arriving. They get the danger away only as far as Sterling. Fabinho going to lay it off here to Goretzka. Left hand side is Marlis Moreno opening up onto his right foot. Marlis Moreno. Simple save for Butland. But hopefully, I think that's going to wrap up the game for a 2-1 win. We finally pick up three points in the league after a month. A fully deserved win as well. At this rate though, even after picking up wins, we have to rely on other results to go our way for us to be back in with a proper shout of lifting the Premier League trophy. But on to the next one we go, which is Southampton in the league. Let's go and get another three points. Bufau on the ball forward to Tadic. Southampton playing some decent football. And as I say that, they give it straight to Fabinho. Here we go. Aguero to his left-hand side is Sterling. And wow, that is a dreadful finish. That should have been 1-0. Nine minutes gone. It's been a brilliant and dominating start. Look at that. Basically one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And it's a dreadful finish. I mean, the goalkeeper has narrowed the angle very, very well. But Sterling should at least at least be hitting the target nine minutes gone and like i said it's been a brilliant start to the game from us and after picking up three points against stoke i'm really really confident of picking up three points here against southampton Romeo on the ball and goretzka it's been such a good start here we go i'm going to spread the play to lee rosani what a pass from sterling going to turn onto his left foot try to curl it to the top corner and it's gone past the post wow it should at least be 1-0. We've had two brilliant opportunities. And it's whistled past the post. Sterling on the left-hand side into Sergio Aguero. Onto his right foot. Gone past one. Can he go past two? Aguero is still going. Sergio Aguero. And it's a goal kick. I thought it took a deflection. Just bobbles past the post. Comfortably past the post. But that is our third shot of the game. Been such a brilliant start. I just really want to grab that first goal. Marlis Moreno through to Raheem Sterling. Three players to his right-hand side to aim for in the box. A cross goes in. And McCarthy is going to win that all day long. I mean, crosses are going to be pretty hard to actually execute in this game against Southampton. That is a brilliant interception through to Raheem Sterling. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Raheem Sterling into the bottom corner. And rightly so, we have taken the lead. Southampton playing some decent football and as I say that they give the ball straight to Raheem Sterling into Marlis Moreno good first touch into Aguero through the middle here to Lee Rossani what a pass Lee Rossani basically one on one with the goalkeeper into the bottom corner and how long after scoring the first goal have we got the second four minutes later we have doubled our lead look at that pass from Sergio Aguero and it's a very good finish once again, Lee Rossani, player of the season. How many goals has he got now? 14th Premier League goal of the season. Has made it 2-0 after 34 minutes. Booth out on the left-hand side for Southampton. And again, it's a very... No, referee. Come on, that was a very good tackle from Lee Rossani. Free kick 10 minutes before the break. I'm guessing they're just going to whack it into the box. It's an okay delivery. And the header, the clearance, goes straight to Raheem Sterling. Can we break away and grab the third goal of the game? Sergio Aguero through to Lee Rossani to his right-hand side is Bernardo Silva. I'm going to cross it to the back post in Marlis Moreno. But it's going straight to Sergio Aguero. And the header goes straight to the goalkeeper. Either side of the goalkeeper. That would have been 3-0. And you'd have to say, even though it's the first half, that probably would have been game over. Sergio Aguero first time into Lee Rossani, little back hill into Bernardo Silva, I was about to release the trigger but a tackle comes in, a crunching tackle as well, Aguero back on the ball into Goretzka, first time to Sterling, edge of the box is Aguero, on his left foot Sergio Aguero and is way past the post but two minutes before the break and you'd have to say we probably deserve, look at that, wow, sliced it, completely sliced it from the Argentine but yeah you'd have to say going into the break we probably deserve a lead of maybe three or four. 
Southampton throwing on the left hand side. Promise with it. Plays it right back into the defence. And Sterling. Oh, I thought Sterling was going to nick it away from him. But they played it straight to Marlis Moreno, who cannot keep it in. Seconds remaining. And if we do concede a goal just before the break I would be pretty damn mad because Southampton have been dreadful little one two between the two players promised back on the ball and thankfully the captain is there to hopefully get the danger away and that is going to wrap up the first half or is it can we go up the other end and grab the third goal no because the referee is blowing his bloody whistle Sterling a ball out to the right hand side for hopefully the first attack of the second half gone past two Bernardo Silva is still going across and it's an okay delivery to the back post gets cleared away only as far as Goretzka keeper stood still it was over the crossbar but a blistering start to the second 45 minutes how far over was that I mean if it was on target it was going straight at the goalkeeper anyway and comfortably over the crossbar but like I said a blistering start to the second half Marlis Moreno forward to OK. It's gone out to Lee Rossani. I wanted it through to Sergio Aguero, but second half has been pretty dead compared to the first half. Southampton been knocking the ball around pretty well without creating any chances. But here we go. Can we get a proper chance going now? Lee Rossani forward to Aguero. Right hand side is Bernardo Silva. Brilliant attack. And Buffal is chasing back. Sliding tackle goes in, completely misses. Bernardo Silva crossing to Marlis Moreno. A header towards goal. And it's going to be a simple save for the goalkeeper. 68 minutes gone and we are going to make some changes. Marlis Moreno on a yellow card and looking very tired. So we're going to move, I think, Sterling onto that left wing. Marlis Moreno off for Diaz. We're 2-0 up. Three points, I think, are wrapped up. So let's bring Diaz on, see what he can do. And I think we will bring on Isco for Lee Rosane. Promise on the ball for Southampton up against two players and somehow he's kept the ball. Romeo into Gabbiadini, forward to Zampano, back into Gabbiadini on the right hand side who should be in the box, not whipping in the crosses. Back into the Southampton defender, Gabbiadini is offside, no? Okay, he was onside, edge of the box is Hoidberg, back into Romeo. This is good play from Southampton, are they going to make this pressure pay with a goal in the box to Tadic and thankfully they run straight into a blue shirt here we go little dink over the top okay it's not the pass I actually wanted Raheem Sterling was making a move forward 15 minutes left to play and at the moment I would say this game is probably going to end 2-0 it's been such a dreadful second half hopefully the changes coming on now will change the game for these last 15 minutes John Stones out to the right hand side in Bernardo Silva tackle comes in but thankfully the loose ball is going to fall to the captain and he's just about going to get it forward to Goretzka. Left hand side now is Jimenez. A poor touch. Oh my god, this has been such a dodgy second half. Here we go. Isco forward to Sergio Aguero. Back through to Isco. Aguero. Loads of space in front of him from a long range effort. Straight at the goalkeeper for once again. A simple save. Ten minutes left to play and I think it's pretty safe to say the three points are wrapped up. Southampton moving forward but Jimenez with a brilliant tackle and that's a very good pass into Diaz and Romeo with a very good interception. Southampton moving forward throwing everything forward through the middle here to Yoshida and thankfully it was Yoshida through on goal and not Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini played it through to Yoshida if it was the other way around surely that would have been 2-1. Six minutes left to play and it would have been game back on. From the corner, Southampton go. It's a very decent delivery as well. And thankfully, Goretzka just whacks the ball away. And can Isco nick it away from Stevens? He's messing around with it. And he plays it short here to Romeo. What's he going to do with it? He's messing around with it as well. And he's played actually a brilliant ball to the left-hand side of Buffel. If we do nick it away from him, we have a brilliant chance to go up the other end and get a third goal. Three minutes left to play and they are throwing everything forward. But I think the game is probably going to end 2-0. It's not been the best of second halves. So the first half actually won us this game. But here we go. Can we go up the other end and grab the third goal? End this game with a bit of excitement. Out to the left-hand side in Sterling. It's just about going to make it through. I'm just going to whip in across. Hit and hope it's going into a red and white shirt. And are they going to break away and grab a consolation goal? Gabbiadini basically one-on-one -on -one with Jimenez. He's holding the ball up very well. Out to the right-hand side in Yoshida. Into Hoiberg. And it's past the post. And there is the full-time whistle. 
Wow, after the last month we had, I really didn't expect us to pick up 6 points out of 6 in today's episode. Let's go ahead and see what that has done to the Premier League table. So I think it's safe to say that the Premier League trophy is heading to London, either Spurs or Chelsea, unless we win our remaining games and Chelsea and Spurs drop points. I don't see it happening, but in football, you never say never. In the next episode, it's going to be a three-game episode to end the Premier League campaign. Three home games as well. West Brom, Chelsea and then Sheffield Wednesday and are you guys ready to see who we have in the FA Cup final it is Manchester City versus Liverpool in the Emirates FA Cup final what a final that could turn out to be but that is going to wrap up today's episode guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace